Investigating Rates of Change, Lesson 3.2a. A rate of change is a ratio of the amount of change in the dependent variable, or output, to the amount of change in the independent variable, or input. So for the rate of change, we have the amount of change in the dependent variable over the amount of change in the independent variable. So in case you don't remember, in 6th grade math 12.2, we learned the independent variable determines the value of the dependent variable. So if we're multiplying 5 times some number x, x is the input, that's the independent one, and y is the output, the dependent one. So what it's saying is this output, this y, its value is going to depend on whatever this x, this input, is. If the input is a 1, then we have 5 times 1. That's going to make the output a 5. If this is a 2, that's going to make it a 10. And if this is a 3, that's going to make it a 15. So can you see how the y is dependent on whatever this one is? The value of x will determine the value of y. Sarah keeps a record of the number of bracelets she's made and the money she's earned. Tell whether the rates of change are constant or variable. So here we have a table and it says day one, day two, day three, day four. We have the number of bracelets she made and the amount she earned. Day one, she made one bracelet and made $20. Well, that's going to be a unit rate, isn't it? Day two, she made five bracelets and made $100. Day three, she made nine bracelets and made $180. Day four, she made 12 bracelets and made $240. So the first thing we do is identify the input and output variables. So the input is the number of bracelets she made, and it's going to tell us how much she earned. So this is the independent variable that is controlling the dependent one. This one is going to tell us how much she made. It's going to tell us the number of bracelets she made. The output variable is the dependent variable, the amount earned, because it depends on the number of bracelets she sold. So our input is the number of bracelets, the output is the amount earned. So here we have our table, and we need to find the rates of change. Now remember, the rate of change is equal to the change in the output over the change in the input. So we're going to put the orange output on the top as the numerator, and we're going to do 100 minus 20 to find the change from 20 to 100. That's going to be 80. And we're going to find the change from the 5 to the 1. That's going to be a 4. We simplify it and we get 20. Then we go from 180 to 100. That's going to give us an 80. And from 9 down to 5, the difference is a 4. We simplify it and we get 20. Then we go... 240 minus 180, that's going to give us a 60, and 12 minus 9, the difference is a 3. When we simplify this, that's 20. The rates of change are constant, $20 per bracelet. We know that's how much she charged for every single bracelet she sold. Knowing that it's a $20 constant, we'd be able to figure out how much money she'd make if she's made 20 bracelets or 50 bracelets and sold them or 100, we could just multiply it by that 20 and know how much she earned. Here we have another problem and another table. The table shows the number of hours Bob worked and the tips he earned for four days. Tell whether the rates of change were constant or variable. He worked one hour and he earned $25 in tips. Then he worked one and a half hours, one and five tenths, and earned forty dollars. Then he worked three and a half hours and made fifty two, then four hours and made forty six. We do the dependent variable over the independent variable, and we find the difference. So we do forty minus twenty five, which is fifteen, and one and a half minus one. That's 5 tenths, and 15 divided by 5 tenths is 30. Then we do 52 minus 40, which is 12, and 3 and a half minus 1 and a half, that's 2. We get a 6 for our rate of change. 
Then we find the difference between 52 and 46, and that's a 6. So remember, we're just trying to find the difference. So that's why we didn't have to do 46 minus 52. We can just do 52 minus 46. It's just the difference between the two numbers. Then we find the difference between a 4 and a 3 and a half, and that's a half, 5 tenths, and the rate of change would be 12. Now look at our rate of change. We have a 30, then a 6, then a 12. Since our rates of change are 30, 6, and 12, they're variable. They're not constant. If they were constant, they would all be 30, or they would all be 6, or they would all be 12. So remember, to find the rate of change, we find the difference of two output values and divide it by the difference of two corresponding input values. We simplify it, and we have our rate of change. Probably the most difficult part for you will be to determine which one is the output and which one is the input. The amount she earns is going to depend on the amount she works, or he. If they work 30 hours, then they'll make $450. If they work 40 hours, they'll make $600. So this number depends on the number of hours. So this one is the dependent variable because it depends on something, okay? Okay, we're finished with part A. We're going to move on to B using graphs to find rates of change. If you're still having a little difficulty deciding which one is the independent and which one is the dependent variable, I'm going to have a link to the 6th grade math 12.2 lessons in this description that you can just watch quickly and remove all doubt. Have a great day and join me for the next part of the lesson. Bye.